Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to another episode of our Stardew Valley Min Max run! It is going to rain all day tomorrow. That is fantastic news for us! Alright, we can skip that cinematic. We found some cloth, so she's here to tell us that we can use her sewing machine. I don't want to do that, Emily. So hopefully... Hopefully this is going to be the last day we have to water our crops, because... I believe the strawberries should actually be harvestable by tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then definitely the day after. Which is great news for us, because we'll get level 6 farming. And I should likely have enough bars to cover sprinklers on all of our crops. So that is going to be fantastic. And then we'll still have... Eight days left of spring to do something useful. Now I'm actually undecided at this point if I want to sell my artisan goods right now. The thing is once we get to level 10 farming we'll be able to sell them for I think about 40% more which is really significant but that also means we won't be getting money until then from our crops so I don't know that that's necessarily the right way to go let me know what you think if you have any opinions on that because as we all know the money can actually exponentially increase in this game so tomorrow we're obviously going to want to be fishing since we'll be able to get some catfish I realize I just put my last cauliflower in our preserve chart. Well, actually we have one here that we can give to Jody for that quest. Yeah, so tomorrow obviously we're gonna go fishing for catfish. Today we'll go to the mines and make sure that we have all the bars we need for making ourselves some sprinklers. So let's double check here how many plots we have. I'm gonna count this out real quick. So we have 24 plots that we need to put a sprinkler on for sure. I realize I forgot to water this little patch down here. We don't want to do that. Gonna get our strawberries all out of sync if we do that. Okay, so we're, we've got a little bit of farming yet to do then in the mines. So we'll definitely want to try and take care of that today. Let's make sure we've got everything we need. I'm just going to take copper bars along so I know how many we have. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and sell my pickled cauliflower. Let me know if you think that was a bad idea, but I think that we're definitely going to benefit from the money early on. We've already lost out on early money by not just selling these by like as raw crops. So we're getting more of a profit from them by pickling them first, but not as much of a profit as we would if we were farming 10. However, I think maybe it's going to be better if we like go over to Robin, and maybe I'm going to do that right now. Let's go to Robin and pick up a bunch of wood. Is she open on Fridays? Yes, I think she is till like 3 o'clock. We're going to buy a bunch of wood from Robin. I'm going to hang on to 2,000 gold just in case I decide to do some tool upgrade stuff. And then we're going to be turning that wood into some coal and make some more preserves jars. I might be regretting this later, but we'll see. Okay, that ought to do it for now. Which means we're also going to be needing to make... Oh, not recycling machines. Oh my god, can we not even... Guys, we can't even make a furnace. I bought all that wood, and we can't even make a furnace. What do we get that at? It must be... Bah. Joke's on me. I messed up. Apparently, we don't get the charcoal kiln until we get our forging to level 4. So, I definitely should have been chopping down trees instead of buying the wood but oh well no turning back right like I said we are not resetting our levels in this game at all so or resetting our days rather 
Um, so we'll just hope for the best. As soon as we get our axe upgrade finished, we'll be able to at least... Uh, we'll be able to go chop down some stumps and get our, get our skill up a lot faster. So that'll be good news at least. Let's see here. So we have... 17 gold, 22 iron, and 13 refined quartz. We are going to want to definitely smelt some gold. And... Okay, so we basically have enough ore to make as many sprinklers as we need right now for what's on our farm. So I'm just gonna maybe head into the mines and we'll we'll see if we can get down to level tw 120. I don't know if that's gonna happen today. We don't have like a lot of stone right now and it's gonna be rough trying to get all the way down to 120 without enough stone for stairs, but we'll see how it goes. Oh god, we're only at 90? Yeah, that's not happening. Maybe we'll get to 100. We'll see. But as it was pointed out to me, I did know this and I totally forgot until I was reminded that we cannot find a prismatic shard until we get down to level 120 of the mines. So there's a lot of good reasons to try and get down to 120 ASAP. Not only for that, but of course for the skull key so that we can go ahead and get started in our desert mines. I'm also going to be wanting a lot of stone for making the preserves jars. So hopefully we get a bunch of stone today. Well, the good news is we do actually have a lot of coal right now, probably more than we need for smelting bars, so I can still make use of that wood that we bought, but I am pretty bummed about not realizing that we need to have level 4 foraging in order to make the charcoal kiln. I don't know why I assumed I could already do that. We certainly haven't been focusing on foraging very much. I think the stuff that we pick up in the mines, like the, the quartz and the frozen tear and that sort of thing, I believe those all add to our foraging skill. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they do because I know they don't add to the mining skill. As I suspected, we were indeed in desperate need today of a staircase because of encountering a monster level that was so huge and so many monsters, there's no way I was going to finish that. That would have been a colossal waste of time. So as it turned out, as you saw, obviously, I made a staircase because we had just enough stone to manage that. But if I did not have enough stone for the staircase, I would have just quit right then and there and decided to do more of a farming run today. Well, it was incredibly painful to get to the spiral level today and not have enough time to make it to the center. I suppose I could have made a staircase to get down to the next level, but I don't want to forget that I didn't do the spiral staircase or the spiral level. And I, the only way I can get to that anyway is by going to level 95 again. So we're just going to save that for another day. Now let's see here. We still need some gold bars. And one iron bar. What did I say? We need 24. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do we have... No. We have five furnaces... We could use the stone that we didn't use for a staircase to make another furnace. I think we will do that. And plop that right down there. Then we'll do one quartz, one iron, and then the rest of these. Wait, did I say that wrong? We need one quartz, two iron. Oh, we still don't have enough furnaces. I could make another one. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we'll just do that. We'll make another furnace. Oh god, am I gonna make it to bed in time? 
Let's put these all in a row on my bar so I don't mess this up. And go searching through my inventory. Okay, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, fuck it. We're just gonna hightail it out of here. Because I don't want to get stuck passing out. I guess we had time. It's a lot closer to our farm than I realized. Let's see. So let's sell our magma geodes and the emerald. Oh, man. It was kind of a garbage day, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty disappointed. But let's hope we catch a whole bunch of catfish tomorrow. How does that sound? Well, there we go. We got level 3 foraging, so now we're only one level away from getting the furnace that I thought we could- or the charcoal kiln that I thought we could already make. Uh, womp womp. So today, I think our axe is going to be ready. Let's see. What? Yes, okay. I was like, what? Come on, guys. Okay, weather. Partly cloudy. All right. I'm not going to bother with picking up my axe today because we just want to fish. Fish all the catfish. We also don't have any trout soup, so I guess we're going to have to live off of our salads and salmon berries. Make sure we've got a very clear inventory here. Don't need any of those tools. And... I think we're all set. I suppose it might be a good idea for me next time to actually bring the pickaxe with me and clear away some of those rocks because if you didn't know, those will actually respawn on your farm over time. It can get cluttered again and then you won't be able to walk through anymore. Also, I do want to make a correction about this location that I am fishing here. It is the forest river, not the forest lake. I do apologize for incorrectly describing that last time, but you know, you guys can see where I'm at, so hopefully that's not too terribly confusing. But the forest lake would be the one that's to the west of here, the northwest of here, and you mostly just get trash if you fish in that lake. So I kind of avoid it. Unless your goal is to get a whole bunch of things to put in the recycling machine, it's probably best to avoid that. If you're trying to fish up trash for your recycling machine, you could also go to, like, the river that's downstream of Joja Mart. Well, guys, this time I'm not sure I really have much more to say at this point, so please enjoy this time lapse with some lovely Stardew Valley music. Okay, I feel like it was a pretty successful day. 
of fishing. Perhaps, maybe, one of our most successful. Although, I did miss a whole bunch of catfish, which I'm very upset about. Still got 12, but could have had something like 15 or 16. But that's when, you know, I just gotta tell myself to get good, noob. So hopefully you guys are better at fishing than me and can maybe catch a few more catfish. It does also depend on your luck, basically. And not like luck of the game as in the what the TV tells you each day, but just luck of how many catfish are going to bite. I don't believe luck affects that. That's just random number generator. Did you pray to the RNG gods or not today? That's what determines how many catfish you get. We did obviously get a dinosaur egg, which is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with that just yet, so I'm going to hang on to it. I haven't decided if we're going to be building a coop. Nonetheless, a... Is it deluxe coop or... Yeah, I can't remember which one of the upgrades. I know it's not the first coop, but I think maybe the max coop is where you get the incubator and you can actually hatch the eggs. So we're going to have to wait till that if we do decide to do that at all. Also, I realized I should be making tappers. What am I doing? Why have I not been putting tappers on these beautiful oak trees that we have sitting right there? I guess I didn't realize that I actually had the tapper recipe already. Here I am thinking that I can make charcoal kilns, and I can't. And that I can't make tappers, and I can. But alas, we left our copper in the mines. So we'll have to do that tomorrow because I really, really don't think we have enough time. Yeah, we definitely can't get to the mines and back and put tappers on our trees in 40 minutes. So we're just going to wait to do that tomorrow. Okay, let's see how that day of fishing went, shall we? Ooh, some sort of achievement. Probably a money achievement. Level 9 fishing. That's pretty okay. All right. Look at that, almost 10,000 gold in one day of fishing. That's what catfish will do for you people. 4,500 gold with my 12 catfish. That's amazing. Okay. Fingers crossed that our strawberries are ready to go today. And I actually realized that I am going to have to water them one more time. Because I'm a derp and forgot that we can't just plop down the sprinklers because they only water in the mornings. All right, that is good news though. Our strawberries are ready to go. We are going to have to save that for next episode though, as this one is time to end. Thank you so much for joining me everyone, and until next time, stay foxy.